This is a 1996 Canon BCTV zoom lens. And today I'm gonna show you the quirks and features of this camera lens. I'm just kidding. We're actually gonna encase it in resin and cut it in half. Let's talk about this. I think we added a little bit too much catalyst and uh, the resin started hardening up before we could get all the bubbles out. So if you look at the top as the bubbles were coming up, like that's real bumpy weird. Like it was, it was starting like to harden. As it was plopping. You can see there's a little bit of an air bubble there. So the purpose of putting it in resin, we've cut a camera lens in half before, but Whenever we cut them in half, all the glass elements inside just kind of fall apart and you lose pieces. The idea with this is that all stays intact. So I still think we'll be able to achieve that. Maybe after we cut this in half, we can put it back in resin to fill in all the voids and make a really cool desk ornament. So do you think the resin penetrated all the way through? Um, no. Like none at all. Oh. Where is that air bubble we saw? I think the air bubble we were seeing on the bottom is an air bubble trapped on the outside of the lens that couldn't escape the, the ring and work its way up since that side was down. So it turns out this lens is much more dust and weather sealed than we thought. There are only two spots where we can see that some resin was able to get inside. And there. But everything managed to stay in place anyway. We got a nice cross section of a couple screws. And we've got a nice view of the aperture blades. In total, this lens ended up having 14 glass elements. Next step is going to be making a new mold around this, filling in all the voids with resin, vacuuming it again, and then breaking it loose, and hopefully we've got something that's all frozen in place. Because we've got some pieces that are still a little loose and we don't want those falling out.
tired yet? Yep. <laughs> How many hours did you spend sanding? It was like four, wasn't it? Yeah, four. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing did not turn out great, but it's still cool. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be worse. Okay, so obviously this one was a bit of a learning experience. Uh, lesson one learned, do not use polyester resin. We needed to use a true, like, epoxy casting resin. And I think this stuff is just cheap, which is why it's got, like, a pink hue to it. It said it, um, cured clear, but that's obviously not the case. Another issue is polyester resin tends to shrink just a little bit when it cures, which is why you can see that the resin is pulling away from the camera lens inside of the block. And because it shrinks and we're doing such thick pores, that's what forms these cracks that you see going through it. But I think we've got everything kind of figured out to be able to do it right the next time hopefully <laughs> or so we think <laughs> and we picked up a giant uh, stock pot that we're going to turn into a vacuum chamber we might have to reinforce it because it might start to implode on itself once we pull vacuum and we'll need to get a bigger pump but with that we'll be able to do much bigger items so please leave down in the comments what you want us to encase and cut next. You know, this is, uh, I think, 24 inches in diameter, so that will be our, our limit. I'll ask Mitchell if he wants to do it. 